guys, welcome back to my channel and today I have a, another video for you guys. So today I'm going to be meal prepping, well just meal prepping one meal for the rest of the week. So I'm going to be meal prepping my dinner and I thought I would share it with you guys. And yeah, also if you don't already, definitely follow me on Instagram, it's just Addict Lulu. Whenever I'm not on my YouTube channel, you can find me on my Instagram posting stories, photos, or videos. So if you do want to keep in touch with me when I'm not on my YouTube channel, then definitely follow me on over at my Instagram. And click that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload new videos like this one. So yeah, anyways, today I think I'm going to be meal prepping a quinoa salad. And also, I'm going to pan fry. There's no pan on the stove, but you know they're in the oven. I'm gonna pan fry chicken breasts, and that's gonna be my protein. Um, yeah. So first off, I'm just stabbing the chicken, just because I find when I do put my spices on it, it soaks into the chicken a lot better. So I am marinating it in salt black pepper and also some garlic powder. So while the chicken is marinating for a bit, I'm cutting up all of my veggies for the quinoa salad. So I'm dicing up my red peppers. I'm also cutting up my cucumbers and since cucumbers are watery and I need this to last for a week I am scooping out the middle portion which is like the most watery part of the cucumber and then I'm going to cut it up. So for a week's worth of this quinoa salad, you only need to use one onion and you want to dice your onion up. So I'm using cilantro here, but parsley also works. I just like the smell and the taste that the cilantro gives, but I know a lot of people don't like cilantro, so parsley works as well. And then after that, you're going to scoop out one cup of quinoa. You're going to wash that and then you're going to stick it into a pot with some water to let that boil for around 15 minutes. And I decided to put corn and also black beans into my quinoa salad as well. So after that, you want to get your pan ready so that you can fry up your chicken. I'm using some Pam spray and also mincing some garlic. I also cut up a, another onion and put it into the pan just to give the chicken some more flavor and then you're just going to stir that around and let that cook for a bit. And once that's cooked for a bit, you're going to stick your chicken breasts in the pan to cook. While your chicken is cooking, you're going to make the quinoa salad dressing. So you need olive oil and you also need a tablespoon of red wine vinegar. And you'll also need half a cup of lemon juice. I just freshly squeezed it and some garlic. And then you just want to mix that all up. And this quinoa salad dressing is so, so good. And once your chicken has almost finished cooking, you want to throw in a can of diced tomatoes. This is just such an easy way to add flavor to your chicken. Like it just makes your chicken taste so like bomb-tastic, okay? I also threw in some basil leaves just because my basil plant was dying. So I wanted to use up the rest of that basil. <laughs> And once the quinoa is done, you just want to throw in all of the components. So the red pepper, 
the onion, your cucumbers, your corn, your black beans, and your cilantro. And then you just want to mix that all up together. And that's it. That made me around five meals and it was super simple and really delicious and healthy. to eat my dinner it looks so good so quinoa salad and so whoa excuse me I just like had a silent burp um, and tomato basil chicken yeah I'm super excited oh it smells so good all right guys so I'm gonna show you a arm workout that I recently did and I've been really loving combining biceps and triceps together so this is going to be six exercises of three supersets. So the first exercise is dumbbell hammer curls. And for this exercise, you really wanna make sure to keep your upper arm stationary. And the second exercise in the superset is dumbbell overhead tricep extensions. So for this one, you wanna make sure that your elbows are close together. You don't wanna have your elbows like sticking out far away from each other. And as for the second superset, the first exercise is dumbbell bicep curls, but instead of curling the dumbbells right in front of you, you wanna angle your arms outwards a bit and bring the dumbbells up like that. It's just a different way to target your bicep muscles. And the second exercise in this superset is single arm tricep extensions. So this is kind of similar to the first tricep exercise, except you're just using one arm. And for the last superset, the first exercise is single arm cable bicep curls. So I do like performing bicep curls on the cable machine just because it offers a different kind of resistance compared to a dumbbell. And you just want to make sure your upper arm is stationary when you're bringing your arm up towards your body. Second exercise in this last superset is cable tricep extensions using the rope. So this is always a staple in my arm workouts. You just want to make sure to kind of flare out your hands at the very bottom of the movement and then flex your tricep. 
So that was it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this and give it a like if you did and subscribe if you aren't already. And also follow me on over at my Instagram if you don't already. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.